Hej. Hi, my name is Lizzie, and I make maps. And you'd be surprised about 50% of the time I say that, someone says to me, wait, people still make maps? Is there anything left to be mapped? And actually, yeah, there's a lot left to be mapped, and there's a lot of different choices that cartographers have to make. That's what it's called, cartographer. Cartographers have to make when making a map. And one thing that people forget about when they ask the question is, isn't everything already mapped, is that maps are representations of the real world. They're not word for word, line for line, everything about the real world. And so every map has a purpose. It's trying to tell you a specific thing. And as such, certain choices have to be made when a cartographer is making a map. As such, every map is wrong because it doesn't include all of the information in the world. And because we look at maps and we accept them as truth and don't think about that, it's really easy for a cartographer to come in and add a little bit of stretch here, a little bit of cropping there, and make you think something exists that doesn't actually exist. And the only way that we can become cartographically literate and able to look at a map and understand what it's trying to tell us is to understand how maps are made so we can point out some of those distortions that maybe don't feel quite right. So the first decision a cartographer has to make is scale, which is basically how many real life feet or miles are going to fit inside of a map inch. And that decision really determines how much information you show. Just like zooming out on Google Maps, if you zoom out for long enough, you start to see the roads. They don't have labels. They're getting smaller and they're actually eventually floating away. So that's one way that maps lie, is just by not showing enough information. And also, as you zoom out, as it were, the information becomes more and more generalized. It kind of smooths out edges and makes it so that everything that happens on the map isn't exactly as it is in nature. And the second way that, uh, the second thing that cartographers have to do when making a map is pick what's called a projection. Now, the Earth is 3D. Maps are 2D. Physics then tells us that we can't exactly put everything on the globe in a way on the, uh, onto the map in a way that makes sense. This is the Mercator projection. It's probably the one you're most familiar with. Would it blow your mind if I told you that the area of Greenland is actually one eighth the size of South America? Because it's true. Um, the Mercator projection exists to make straight lines across oceans. It was made for sea navigation. And if you, as you can see here, every projection changes the way that we look at the world. All of these are right and all of them are wrong because they all distort different things about the world. Some map projections distort size, some map projections distort distance, and some map projections like the Gallpeters distort shape. So when we are making maps, we have to choose what is going to be the best projection for our purpose. And there are projections that go all around the world in specific areas, and there are projections that have all kinds of distortion, but just sort of averaged out, like the Robinson projection. So projections are important, and projections help us to see that every map we see of the world is wrong. On this one, on the equal rectangular, you can see those little circles telling you exactly how that map is stretched and how it's distorted, so that's really important. And finally, we use maps to look at different kinds of data about the world. And these are particularly bad offenders because in each of those little counties, all of that information is generalized. We don't get to see the nuance in the data, and this is actually the most abused way that um, cartographers can lie with maps, is to display data in a way that doesn't really tell the whole story, and in fact tells a story that that cartographer is specifically trying to tell. So fidelity of data, how good the data is, how you display the data, those are all choices that cartographers make. And in making those choices, they get to lie in their own specific way. So the important thing, I think, is to look at a map and take it with a little bit of skepticism to be able to say, what is the point of the map? Who made it? Why did they make it? And what was their goal, and what am I supposed to get out of it? Because once you can see how maps are distorting the world, you can understand the world even better. Um, I felt very fortunate, actually, that the other day, the American Red Cross put this map up on their website, which is the um, her, or typhoon in the Philippines, and they forgot to scale it down. This is not the actual size, and it ended up on the American Red Cross website. 
wonder what they were trying to tell us there. Was it really negligent or, I don't know. Think about maps, they're important, thank you.